Uh, and we did our project, on, we made an LCD typewriter. So the system requirements is that we Im implement a keyboard that reads from, reads the keys in using the UART and displays them on the PMOD LCD. Um, it should display all the characters A to Z as well as the symbols on the keys. It also should have the ability to save memory, backspace if you happen to push in the wrong key, and start a new line using the enter key. Um, here's our block diagram. It's very similar to what we've done in the previous labs. Uh, the only new addition is the UART light that's reading in on the keyboard. Um, pretty much that's the gist of the diagram. Our software diagram is we don't actually have one because it's, it depends on which key is scanned in. Um, here's the design overview. So our hardware, we use the Nexus 2 board, the LCD, our keyboard, and, and just the rest of the hardware, like the GPIOs and the, and the UART. And then our software is pretty much just our C file that reads in the scan codes and then based upon the scan code that's entered, the program functions properly, has a different functionality based upon the scan code. All right, so um, yeah, the first part was to get the bound rate. I was about 11.74. Um, that way we can scan codes and read it properly just using a big uh, lookup table. Uh, pin assignments, uh, the enter function, you would have, it would first roll over to the second line, and then you have to reprint the second line to the first line, clear the second line, and then you can restart doing another line. And the backspace was just to clear the most recent data entry and start from there. So. Uh, some of the problems we ran into, initially we wanted to have our caps lock working and the shift buttons working, but I don't know if you, any of you happen to have tried to work with this. Um, when you use the shift key, it's adding more scan codes, and over the last week we were still unable to figure that out. So we don't have fully functional shift keys, and uh, that's about it. Um, our system actually stores memory, and the way we do that is through a multi-dimensional array that is so many columns long. We can it's variable. It's very easy to change, and then that's 16. Uh, or 16 columns long and how many ever rows you want to do so it'll print each row and so when we for instance like when we press enter it moves the, the other line up and then prints the blank line on the bottom where it starts to write um, unfortunately like we said we weren't able to get the multiple scan codes working so our we weren't we we're not able to scroll up and down between the lines but that's about it and we can demo the so, uh, you can do all the letters and you can do all the numbers. There's spaces and it just rolls over, prints it back up, and you start the next line. Uh, you can do the enter and you just restart and do backspace. Just start writing. And then escape both the. Oh, and then escape restarts the whole thing. It starts from the beginning and, and clears the whole memory. Up to 20 lines, but you can really just make it however long you want. And that's it.